Yo, what is up? What is happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. JD, we have done so much on the wagon lately. What are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to go to the next level of JDM. That's right. That's right. We're painting the bonnet of the 323. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bonnet from the car. Pop the hood, man. Pop the hood. We brought the bonnet to the backyard where we're going to do some painting. What I have here is some white spray paint of some sort. Some two times ultra cover semi gloss stuff which is great. I got some masking tape and I also have two kinds of sandpaper. Some 360 grit and some 1200 grit sandpaper. So being a JDM wagon I'm sure you can put two and two together. This is red, this is white. I'm sure you can predict what's going to happen. What does it mean? See, that's what I have to work with. That's what I have to work with every single day of my life. So what we're doing now is we're wiping down the bonnet just to get all the dirt off it, and then we're gonna start masking it and go from there. All about the technique, eh, Jetty? Oh yeah, but you know how it is. So if you haven't guessed it, that's right. We're putting a rising sun on the bonnet of the 323. What, that big? Yeah, I'm reckon in the middle, bro. That looks disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, nah, be mean. So this is an A3 piece of paper with the rising sun. Um, obviously this is way too small for the bonnet, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it out and use it as a template to extend the beams out over the whole bonnet. So once you cut out all the rays, um, you're gonna fold them back onto the back and you're gonna use the tape to keep them there. So once you have them all taped down, you have the Rising Sun template. That looks real cool. It's gonna be good, man. So the reason why we didn't cut out the rays is because when we fold them, we think it will just make it a little bit more even around the circle bits. That looks real cool already. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's, it's like JDM is this like, this is just, well really, it's, it's, I don't know what I'm trying to say. So what do you reckon, Bri? In the middle, or a little bit to the side. I reckon to the side. It looks mean in the corner there, and yeah. then all the beams can like come up the bonnet. Let's do it. So what we would like to do is have these beams run all the way to the edge of the bonnet, but because it is on the ground, we kind of need something underneath it, don't we, Nathan? Yes. So we found this dog bowl. Oh, stink to the dog. And it'll be me. What's that? He took your dog bowl. What a stink, eh? Hector. I just want to pet you. Yeah. There you are, mate. You the man. You're doing this for the JDM life, eh? Yeah. There once was a legend. That there was a man who was so JDM that he painted the rising sun on everything he had, even his own children. But it's just a legend, don't worry about it. The rising sun on everything.
ever done this before, but I'm feeling quietly <laughs> quite confident. <laughs> Whoa, dude, scissors on my bonnet? What sorry, were you thinking? Bro, sorry. Gosh, bro. You're so hectic. Our rising sun is absolutely looking mint. JD is doing the last beam. Oh my goodness. It actually kind of looks cool in this color, not gonna lie. Um, maybe we should have done it this color. What, yellow? It's like a cream. It's like a poo <laughs> yellow, is what it is. JD. Hey bro. If you could give your number one painting tip, what would it be? Don't stuff it up. We decided to stick with the 1200 grit sandpaper um, just to give it a quick sand. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna take the turps and give it a quick wipe down. Then we're gonna give it a quick spray. Easy. The last thing we want is for the paint to run and ruin all of our hard preparation work. So we have a hairdryer, we're going to heat it up a bit just to eliminate the factor of it running just a little bit more. So uh, let's get into it. We are very quickly running out of paint because we're cheap enough that we only bought one can. Um, but we're getting there and the bonnet is looking mean, eh JD? Yeah bro, loving it. Loving it. And he's got the uh, the thumb, the old thumb on the can technique. What a guy. <laughs> the only way to do it, eh JD? The only way, mate. We've come to that part of the night where we get to peel off the tape. Oh, I'm it's so like excited. literally the most exciting part about taping, I mean painting anything, is peeling off the tape and just seeing what's underneath. I'm so excited. So I reckon we peel from the, from the sun. From the sun. From the sun. Okay. okay. Whoa. <gasps> Don't do this to me. <gasps> Careful. Slowly. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, triple, triple. Okay, now stop. What? Be careful. Okay. This looks so good. This genuinely looks so good. Look, I'm even Japanese swapping. I don't care how rice people think this is, it's the coolest experience. You gotta try it at home. Get your mum's mini band, put some tape on it, and start painting. Honestly, <laughs> you won't regret it. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. This is like Christmas Day all over again. Yeah, ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that is so good! Yeah, yeah. What? Dude. Oh, bro. <laughs> Honestly. Oh my gosh, bro. What have we done? Oh my gosh. I'm done. That looks professional, bro. Look at it. It's oh. oh my gosh. Drop it, bro. Ah. Oh my goodness. What have we done here? <laughs> that looks so freaking fresh, man. <laughs> there it is. It looks like it just arrived out of Japan. It is looking real good, Nathan. That's what I think. You're speechless. <laughs> it, it's on. 
We're all done for tonight. We are done. It's wrapped up. I'm happy how we're doing. Nathan, say something. Just say something. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, do what you need to do, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. I've so, got, got a good feeling about this. But why exactly didn't you cut them off? Because your price is way too high. You need to cut <laughs> it! <laughs>